goes on dry goes on real fast nice shit I think that's all she wrote. All right. This side. I have a little bit of uh, soapy water here, but everything else is dry, so. For there is soapy water, it might not glide, but that's cool. I'm just gonna go ahead and make it glide over here. I think as you guys already know, uh, doing the soap method, sometimes depending on the polyester you use whether it's Chinese polyester or this or that um, it might be something that kind of want to stick to the glass and sticking to the glass you're gonna have a hard time doing your shrinks you know this type of sauce allows it to have such a shrink nothing sticks you know whatever polyester doesn't matter because if somebody's gonna sell you a sauce and say well you got to use a good film well fuck that right nobody's gonna tell you what kind of film you want to use you want to use whatever film works for you and your budget right okay so to create a sauce that works with every polyester is not an easy thing so if somebody tells you my sauce but you got to use blah 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 fuck that they probably got a manufacturer in their pocket selling something on the side or something this is dyed film it's thin uh, i've used a metallic i've used um, ceramic and as everybody knows that all those films that are a little bit thicker are more forgiving as they say so everybody has a little bit of harder time heat shrinking newbies and stuff that hopefully this will be a super super aid that if you're not you know extremely superman about heat shrinking well you don't have to be because you won't have to have a correct way of heat shrinking. You can heat shrink however the fuck you want and still accomplish the same high-end results. As you can see here pretty much clearly. 
Gotta put this guy back. Goes in there. Let me get this guy way over here. He's ugly, but very expensive. German block. Good shit. All right. So if you use uh, bounce towels and all those other things, it's all great. Uh, when you're doing Cali roll, I don't know, all those little particulates that are released, uh, either in the uh, powder, baby powder, or, you know, that, you know, stick to your thing. To me, it would, and I don't like that. I wouldn't like anything when I'm doing a Cali roll to be introduced into my film, and this uh, thing, this nice serum goes on very, very clean. Nothing left behind. And uh, it doesn't stain the car or anything like that. So it's very, very good thought out stuff for sure. And it just glides through any type of polyester like, like I mentioned. So I'm doing this so that you can realize that it's not just me saying something or trying to sell some blow smoke up your ass it's really something that everybody can actually use even if you're a rookie or whatever you can use it and shit man you can impress yourself impress your boss that you're doing such a great job with their shitty ass film and shit that's good man like i said every film to be used is welcome doesn't matter what it is i've used it with films such as Reno window film and i think people that use Reno plenty I think can vouch that that shit has a very difficult type of a polyester that somehow doesn't really glide on glass when you're heat shrinking. My guys hate heat shrinking, very difficult back windows with anything rain or because like I said, the polyester they use, I don't know what it is, but it's very difficult. Well, this shit, it glides like butter. This customer did not buy rain so that's why I'm using as an example right now. There it is guys, um, dirty sauce being right now labeled in a nice bottle. You guys will have it and use it and let me know what's up. Guys have a great day. GoPro stop recording.